I'm so pleased to be sitting here with Juana Martinez Neal. Estoy muy, muy feliz de sentarme aquí con Juana Martinez Neal. Welcome to Iowa City. We're so happy you're here. Oh, many gracias. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. We are such big fans of Juana, just like so many others in the world. I know that. <laughs> uh, lots of her books are checked out often. Here is a display of her work. Um, and it's so exciting because a lot of her books are translated into Spanish, and some of them have little uh, sprinkles of Spanish in them, like the La Madre Goose and Princesa and the Pea. Entonces, esto es una mesa llena de, las, de, no, de los libros de Juana, y algunos de los libros tienen español, y eso es buenísimo en la ciudad de Iowa. We are just so excited to learn more about you and the process that you took to become an author illustrator. Estamos muy, muy emocionados de aprender más sobre ti y tu proceso de convertirte en um, autor ilustrator. I will begin by asking some questions. I'll start with English and then we'll do a little bit of Spanish. So as you begin your visits with Iowa City Community Schools, what do you hope students learn from you, and what aspect of your work will you focus on? Um, I, I, I don't know if I want, I would love for them to learn that Peru is more than just the mountains, that Peru is a very varied, different, big country with many different people. Um, I would love to have that, bring that message to the school. Um, to try to remove the wrong idea that Peru is just Cusco and the people and the mm -hmm. mountains of Cusco around, surrounded around surrounding Cusco, as um, so that's as far as the message goes. Mm -hmm. What was the second question? Uh, what aspect of your work will you focus on while in the school? Um, talking to the, most of, most of my work, most of the presentations talked about talk about Alma and how she got her name. I'm focusing on Alma. I was asked to focus on one book, and I thought Alma will be mm -hmm. the perfect one, especially because it uh, highlights the uniqueness of every single one of us. And, you know, why not bring that message here to Iowa yeah. City Schools? Yeah. And I had the chance this morning to go into one of the schools and see the presentation for myself, and it was lovely. Thank you. And <laughs> I loved watching the demonstration of the drawing and I know the kids were all very very focused and <laughs> I have a feeling a lot of them will go home and try to create that themselves the drawing I'm glad so, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was lovely and the beginning too when you talked about Peru they were very very focused and a lot of ah yeah. okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah so this question we'll do in Spanish so uh, ¿Cómo escoges los proyectos que quieres um, ilustrar? Um, creo que lo más, lo más importante para mí es tener una conexión personal con el libro. Eh, la mayoría de veces esa conexión profunda viene porque leo la historia la primera vez y lloro. Sí. <ríe> y, pero sé que si una historia me ha tocado de una forma tan personal y eh, necesito y, y, y me, necesito hacer ese libro, necesito ilustrar ese libro. Es un libro con el que puedo pasar dos años de mi vida sí. <ríe> tratando de crearlo. Oh, sí. wow. es, muy, es muy emotivo el proceso, uh -huh. es na, no es nada científico, es puro, pura emoción. Sí. Sí. Entonces tienes mucha gente que como te manda correo electrónico, como puedes ilustrar, cómo es el proceso de oh, el, de hacer un libro. Sí. Eh, oh, es muy es relativamente simple. Yo tengo una agente. Su nombre es Stephanie Sánchez von Forstel. Eh, ella trabaja con Full Circle Literary, es el nombre de su agencia. Eh, los editores eh, que piensan que tienen una historia en la que yo podría ilustrar, sería la buena ilustradora para esa historia, eh, le escriben a Stephanie y le mandan el manuscrito, la historia, el texto de, de la historia. Y um, cuando pasa esto, nos, el, 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 ella inmediatamente me pasa el, el, el texto y, uh, 
yo lo leo y sé inmediatamente si es algo en lo que estoy interesado o no, pero es tan simple como, como eso. Y si es que realmente es un proyecto en el, que podemos, en el que veo que puedo ilustrarlo, entonces tenemos que discutir tiempos, ¿no? fechas de entrega, cuándo posiblemente va a publicarse el libro, porque es muy importante para mí que dos libros que sean relativamente similares no sean publicados a la vez. Además, yo solamente hago dos, publico dos libros al año como máximo. Entonces, tengo que tener mucho cuidado qué libro viene con, con quién, ¿no? Cada sí, compañía, ah. los, los pares, uh -huh. eh, si es que son dos en el año. Um, eh, yeah, eso es. Ah. Entonces, hay aquí como un ejemplo de... Hay un autor que has ilustrado para ella dos veces. Sí. Sí, eso es eh, muy eh, La Madre Gus que está acá. La Madre Gus uh -huh. fue el primer libro que ilustré para una de las editoriales de acá de los Estados Unidos, eh, la más grande, de, de las grandes, ¿no? Uh -huh. eh, fue mi primer, la primera vez que me ofrecieron un, la oportunidad de, hacer un, de ilustrar un libro. Y estaba muy nerviosa. Uh -huh. <ríe> Tenía mucho miedo de lo que estaba haciendo. Pero... Lo hice y apenas sí. terminé el libro, me dieron la oportunidad de ilustrar La Princesa de Andapi, que me pareció que era increíblemente gracioso. Uh -huh. Y uh, a mí me gusta mucho el humor. Sí. <risa> y pensé que era, el, era mi oportunidad de poder mostrar esa parte de mi trabajo, ¿no? sí. el, el humor, que me gusta mucho. Sutil, pero me gusta claro. mucho. Sí. Oh, qué bueno. Entonces, uh, we'll do this one. In English, what is a typical work day like for you? And we're um, interested in knowing, like, what do you like to drink while you're working? <laughs> or what do you like to eat? Or do you like music? Do you like to listen to things? Or do you like the silence? <laughs> um, I need music. I love music. And I'm constantly listening to music when I'm driving, when I'm walking, when I'm working. I need music. And I need music with lyrics that I love. Mm -hmm. I, I love following lyrics while I'm working. Um, but I need stories, I need songs that have amazing storytelling. And that's one of the reasons why I like singer-songwriters. Uh, and, and then I like country music because mm -hmm. they have really beautiful storytelling. Um, So that's what I listen to. So always music. I have a, my studio and I got a nice setup of speakers where I can actually, you know, put my music and enjoy it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. enjoy it. Yeah, enjoy it. Um, my day, I, we are early risers, so we wake up really early, like at 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning, we are up. Oh, wow. Um, because of the dogs? Or? No, <laughs> no, because we're just early risers. We start early and finish early also. Uh, it's, our bodies just got used mm -hmm. to it, and um, so I I will get ready. But the, I tend to go out, out when there's light outside. We live in the woods, mm -hmm. so you know, I I there's no. In order for me to get from my house to the street, I have to go through this really long, <laughs> long dark <laughs> uh, driveway, and I don't like going when it's dark. Yeah. I wait for light some light. So if the light in the summer, I could be out by five. But in the winter, I have to be out by 6.30 because uh -huh. of, you know, the light starting to come up. So I go for a walk. I walk for about an hour every day. Uh, then come home, get the children off to sc the different schools. And then um, luckily we have buses. So mm -hmm. they, we just, you know, we don't know, we don't have to drive them anywhere really. And then um, I start, I have breakfast and I get started. And I work until 12 uh, when I take a one hour break for lunch. And then from 12, from one to five, I'm working again. And okay. then at five, I close shop. And then my day is done as far as work goes. And then I spend some time with my husband and children. And then by 7.30, I'm done, I'm in bed and already sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So Waking I start up early. at 3.30. Yeah, yeah, I start early. That's nice. Yeah, but that's my regular day. I uh -huh. only work Monday for Friday, though. Okay, I was going to uh, ask if you work. Yeah, I, I need, I have learned that I need a break. Mm -hmm. I really need to take a break from everything and just enjoy a day mm -hmm. without, you know, being at the studio and that right. just helps my work because then mm -hmm. Monday I'm energetic Excited again and, yeah, yeah to get back to it yeah. yeah 
So yeah, that's that's that that's sounds how it like works. a good routine. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's great. Uh, esta pregunta. Uh, Hay libros aquí que escribiste y también hiciste la, uh, las ilustraciones. Entonces, estoy como curiosa, ¿cuál prefieres? ¿Qué ¿Prefieres uh, escribir y también hacer las ilustraciones como Alma uh -huh. y, y Sonia? Uh, Sonia? Uh -huh. um, o solo hacer las ilustraciones? Son Entonces, dos procesos mentales completamente diferentes. Cuando Es un libro que hago, eh, author, illustrator, autor e, e ilustradora, es un proceso completamente diferente en, y en el que tiendo a perderme porque tengo muchas opciones. Uh -huh. el, en, lo encuentro, encuentro enfocarme en una cosa es muy difícil para mí. Entonces, estoy dibujando y de repente cualquier cosa que cambie en el dibujo puede cambiar por completo la historia en sí. Uh -huh. en, y eso tiende a distraerme. Entonces, los, el proceso de autora e ilustradora es mucho más largo. Lo, lo disfruto mucho, pero es diferente. En el, cuando hago un, un, un libro que es solamente ilustración, es completamente directo. Uh -huh. es, sé exactamente quiénes son los, los personajes, sé qué colores voy a usar, qué, qué, van a, qué va a pasar en cada página. Es, uh -huh. es muy rápido en comparación al de autora e ilustradora. Sí. sí. OK. Oh. Y voy a preguntar sobre el estilo, pero me encanta como los libros son tan diferentes, pero tienen como un estilo muy similar. Uh -huh. Me encanta eso. Me alegro, me alegro. Sí. Eh, esa es la próxima pregunta. Can you tell us more about your style development? Um, um, and I, I had the chance to see the process today yeah. at the school, and it was just so interesting. Yeah, I, um, I, I do think that, I don't know if we have a, I don't know. I, don't, I, I, I wish I, people say that they see my work and they recognize it, and you will call that style, mm -hmm. right? Um, I just do what I feel needs to be done. Uh, I like texture, and I apply it in most of my work. I like patterns. I like uh, I like muted muted colors with like accents mm -hmm. in like here and there. So that's something that is consistent throughout my work. So if you can call that style, then that's my style. Mm -hmm. um, I like composition. Makes uh, to me is very important how you lay out the space within a page mm -hmm. and how the sp the I the different elements within the space will move your eye from one place to the other, either in circles or left or right mm -hmm. or whichever way you need to. Um, so, but developing, I, I think you, you have to draw things many, 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 many times in order to find your own personal way mm -hmm. of drawing things. And that is a process of just working um, mm -hmm. and many mistakes. And, and I think that if you're an artist, you will continue to find that perfect way of expressing something, mm -hmm. right? Otherwise, why are you doing the work that you're doing? Right. You need to try to continue f to find something new yeah. in your work. So I don't know if that explains or answers your question. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah just yeah. over and over again, <laughs> yeah. trying it. So you, is your studio filled? Do you save all of your old I sketches and or I do. do. Okay. I'm so bad. Yeah, <laughs> I'm organized. I think that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah, I'm organized, but I do save everything. I save all my sketches. I save the artwork. Sometimes I sell my artwork, mm -hmm. but whatever. There are some in each book. Uh, there are some pieces that I will not. That will keep for myself and for my children, mm -hmm. um, because I just love them too much, mm -hmm. right? And they are too special, and I keep them. Right. But um, but I have a very I have a good system. I have these acid-free boxes, and I try to have at least one. I try to keep my work within one box for each book, mm -hmm. and they are labeled. So if I need to go back, I can look and find yeah, everything. That sounds very it's, organized. It sounds like an archive, but yeah, yeah it is. It. I am very anal, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I do organize everything. So yeah. Is it the same with writing? Do you save all of your? 
I do, but right. it's just a different type of archiving. You know, it, it, you, you put it, you keep them in the computer. I do have my notes for the books, but that will go, my handwritten notes, but that will go with the actual box of the book. Yeah. Yeah, my okay. handwritten notes about anything related to the book. Mm -hmm. They go within that box of that book. Yeah. You know? um, and then I have before, when I was you know, still in Peru, when I was writing, those were handwritten. Mm -hmm. And I still have that, yeah. yeah, all my writing from that time, yeah. Wow, yeah. <laughs> that's great. Um, let's see. So we're curious about um, the books that you have in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Entonces, uh, ¿escribiste como Alma? ¿Escribiste Alma o Sonia, La Selva de Sonia, en español primero o en inglés? En inglés. Okay. En inglés. Y primero si las, las escribí en inglés. Y una vez que terminamos todo el proceso editorial, de, 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 todo el proceso de, de editar ese texto uh -huh. final, manuscrito, el manuscrito final, entonces en ese momento me dediqué a escribir la, tra la no, es, no, no es una traducción porque es, no son traducciones directas okay. pero el te es a a escribir el texto en español okay. eh, y lo más importante al traducir al escribir la versión en español era que los personajes para mí es muy importante que los personajes que cuando los lea alguien del Perú es, sea familiar que suene uh -huh. como español del Perú porque para mí es muy importante mantener el el país de origen, ¿no? Uh -huh. el, el, cómo uno habla, porque cada país habla diferente. Sí, claro. Entonces, para mí era muy importante eso. Y he tenido la suerte de que eh, mi editora en español, sus papás fueron, son peruanos. Oh. Y ella habla español como una peruana. Sí. <risa> Entonces, has, he tenido mucha suerte. Sí, sí, sí. sí qué bueno. Entonces, el libro de Alma y cómo obtuvo su nombre. Su nombre. Ah, alguien lo tiene en casa y ¿Sí? eso es buenísimo porque <risa> <risa> sí, están sacando los libros en los dos idiomas. Claro. Aquí. Um, entonces, este libro, I Don't Care, yes. uh, by Julie Foliano, um, and you illustrated it with Molly Idol. Yeah. yeah. Can you tell us more about it? We, yes, we started peeking through. But yeah, yeah, I love this book. So, This book is special because it's co-illustrated. So, in other words, Molly and I both illustrated every single spread. Every single page in the book was touched by both of us and drawn by both of us. Um, we have been trying to find out if, apparently, this... I don't think there are that many books that have been done like that. Most mm -hmm. books that have been co-illustrated The illustrators, Molly and I were talking to, about these, and then we were talking to the people at Holiday House, too, about these. Most people, most books that are co-illustrated, the illustrators are related by marriage or blood. Mm -hmm. So they were brothers, like the mm -hmm. Humphrey bro um, uh, brothers, or like they were married, like mm -hmm. Sean Qualls and his wife. Yeah. Um, but not quite just being two people like us that were just best friends. Mm -hmm. um, The book was actually going to be done by Molly. Molly was offered to illustrate the book, and she mm -hmm. said yes, because we both love Julie Foliano's words. Yeah. And um, then I get a text. I get a text from Molly saying, would you like to illustrate a book with me? And, and I'm like, I looked at the text, <laughs> and I go, sure. I mean, what else can yeah. you say to your best friend, right? No? You <laughs> say, sure. And... Uh, and she goes, oh, great, because I already told them. And <laughs> she had already emailed yeah. the other, like her agent and her uh, and um, Neil Porter, the uh -huh. editor, they had already emailed about wow. these. So he already offered well, me. Well, she knows you well. Yeah, <laughs> he already offered me. Aww. And within a half an hour, we heard yes. And it was like everything just went like this. Yeah. And, but at that time, we both lived in Phoenix. Mm -hmm. um, So it should have been an easy thing when you're 25 minutes away, mm -hmm. but then COVID happened mm -hmm. and my family, we moved to Connecticut mm -hmm. on the other side of the country. So the artwork had to, we adjusted and the artwork had to go back and forth between the studio in Tempe for her and my oh, okay. studio in Connecticut. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So, and, and there's a book. It's coming yeah. out November 22nd. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we are very, very excited about it. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> so, when you co illustrated, the the characters in this book look very much like your work. I'm not um, as familiar with her. Yeah, I'll they have look to. very. She, it's okay. Very. It's we very both adjusted our work yeah. to make each other's work go together, oh, wow. so that it will feel seamless. Mm -hmm. uh, because that's the main thing yeah. that it should feel like we don't clash. Right. right? One artwork yeah. doesn't clash with the other. So, like my eyes, I had to grow my eyes. She had to shrink her Aww. eyes. Uh, the way she drew the hair was a little different mm -hmm. because I draw, I like to draw hair like in detail and hers is just a line most of the okay. time. So she adjusted that. Proportions, I ad adjusted my proportions because they tend to be a little shorter sometimes for me. Mm -hmm. um, so there was a there was some tweaking yeah, back and forth so yeah, to, to make a fit. And the, the nicest thing is this, this book is about two girls who... Um, apparently, seemingly don't like each other. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't care about your shoes, I don't care about your lunch, I don't care about your mm -hmm. dad, and dad's beard, I don't care, about, they don't You're care right. about uh, anything, you know, like from the other one. But in reality, they do care about mm -hmm. each other, and that's what matters. So they become best friends at the very end, and mm -hmm. it's really beautiful. Mm -hmm. The words of Julie are just so, so beautiful. And then it's illustrated by two best friends. Yeah. So that's just so sweet. Makes it, yeah, <laughs> it makes it so good. Yeah. yeah. And I'm so happy. So we didn't meet until we were much older and we had children. We met um, 17 years ago. Oh, okay. Six, 17 years ago. Yeah. And, uh, but this is what it would have been like if we were, mm -hmm. you know, if we yeah. would have met Growing when we were together. little. Yeah. 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 Did you meet through the world of children's books? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Molly was pregnant. I moved to Phoenix, and I started going to the illustrators' get-togethers mm -hmm. uh, in Phoenix because I wanted to know who was making picture books. I was just starting. And, uh, and I remember going to the meetings, and people would talk about Molly, and I would say, I would doubt her existence because she was never present in any of these you know, get-togethers, and I'm like, is she real? <laughs> <laughs> But uh, what happened is that she was going through pregnancy. Yeah. You know, she was about to have her baby. And we met three, two and a half months after her, first, her uh, second son was born. Oh, okay. Yeah. And our boys were, at that time, they were zero. She had zero and two, and mine were one and three. Oh, All wow. boys. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. I know. Yeah. And then we had things to talk about. And yeah. our husbands then had things to talk about. Right. So, yeah, it, yeah. Was, it was, I miss her. Yeah. 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 I bet. Yeah. Well, that's really exciting that you're going to go on your yeah. book tour again. Yeah. yeah. That'll be, yeah, really great. <laughs> um, entonces, queremos saber cuál es el... Próximo proyecto. <risa> bueno, ¿Estás trabajando en algo ahora? Sí, okay. siempre. siempre. Eh, bueno, ahorita estamos dedicados a promocionar I Don't Care. En las próximas dos semanas eh, vamos a estar viajando por eso. Eh, pero se, los libros que vienen son, el próximo año tengo dos libros que son board books, son libros de tab sí. duros para bebés de Alma. So oh. I have two, uh, dos uh, Alma Dos board books de uh -huh. Alma. Board books. ¿Cómo se dice? Board sí, book? board books. De yeah. cartón. O de cartón, uh, sí, los, sí. Los, que, los que pueden comer. Sí, claro. <risa> sí. Eh, es, esos vienen el próximo año. Estoy trabajando en un libro acerca de eh, Luis um, Salas. Alberto Salas, perdón. Alberto Salas, que es eh, y un hombre que va buscando diferentes papas papas en, en, a través de las montañas, diferentes sitios. Un libro muy interesante acerca de, de las papas en Perú. Eh, estoy trabajando en ese. Y um, tengo, esos son los que estoy trabajando inmediatamente en esos, pero sí. vienen más. <risa> oh, qué bueno. Sí. 
Claro que sí. <laughs> oh, qué placer poder hablar contigo. It's such a pleasure to talk to you. And My pleasure. We're so lucky that you're here in Iowa City. Oh, and thank I you for having me. And I hope you enjoy yeah. the school visits. I'll love and them. I'm sure the kids will. <laughs> It's been <laughs> great. Well. And yeah. the teachers yeah. and everyone on staff. Yeah. So, yeah. muchísimas gracias. Y estamos muy emocionados. Uh, Leer esto. <laughs> claro que sí. Gracias. Chao. Thank you. Gracias.